So in a previous problem, we were asked to provide a sketch of a one-bit arithmetic and logic unit, an ALU, that performed AND, OR, ADD, SUBTRACT, SET ON LESS THAN, NAND, AND NOR. And then the second part of this is that you were asked to complete this table where you would control um, these pins to get the ALU to do what we want it to do. So here's what that ALU looked like. Here are the control pins, the A invert, B invert, the C in, and then the two um, pins that would control the multiplexer. So let's see if we can now then figure out what those, um, what those would be. Now, there's one part that's going to be pretty straightforward. If I want to do, let's say, and then I need um, I need to, to these two to be zero zero. If I need to do an or, I need a zero one, um, right? To select that particular input from the mux. So let's build on that. All right. So if I want to select the and, then the ALU. Um, those two ALU pins will be 0, 0, and that will just simply select the result of ANDing two bits. Well, let's change this, AND would be those two, because we're looking at the AND. For the OR, it would be um, selecting input 1. For the ADDITION, if you recall from building that, it would be selecting number 2, SUBTRACTION, also looks at the addic the addition, right? Input number two, but it inverts that second row of inputs because we needed to do a two's complement, which was flip the bits and add one. So we would invert, make that true, and then do a carry in, carry in to make that true, and do not invert. Oops, that's the wrong one. Let's do it here. Carry in would be one, A invert is not true, but the B inverted is true. Now, for addition, we don't carry in, we don't invert A or B. Nor do we do carry ins or inversions for A or B, for OR and the AND. Now, for the set on less than, let's say, the set on less than is pulling in from pin three, so let's make this a three. Since we are ultimately going to look at the most significant bit and pull that around to the least significant um, bit of the ALU, um, as because we're looking to see if the most significant bit is a 1, right? Because if we do a 3 minus 4, we'll end up with a negative value, and that negative value will, um, will have its most significant bit set as a 1. So I want to make sure that in order for me to do that subtraction, I want to make sure that um, that the that I do a, su a subtraction. So let's flip the bits and add one. Setting um, carry into one is how you add one. Um, and then as far as inverting A, we don't do that. And as far as inverting B, that's part of flipping the bits and adding one. So that would be a true. Uh, let's put that there. So notice that the subtraction and the set on less than um, are very similar. But as far as where we look for our answer, that changes between those two. And uh, review the previous and, and er the earlier video if you need a reminder as far as what goes on with NOR and NAND, but in order to do the NOR, we're looking at um, the output of the AND, and we invert um, A and B, and then for the NAND, we look through and receive the output of the OR gate, which is that one, but we also invert A and B. 
with no carry in. And then um, for the answer, let's say that you're asked to give this as a hex value. This is just a hex 1. This one is a hex 0, 0. This is a hex 2. And when I say it's a hex value, I'm just converting this number, those four nibbles. And, you know, we're just saying that these nibbles here, um, one, two, three, and we're taking this one as the fourth one. So we end up with these two uh, sets of four nibbles that create a hex value. Um, for the next one, it was a 1, 3, a hex 1, 3. Oops, let's change that. Um, it's actually a hex 6. All right, because this is 2, 4, and 8. And so that 6 is coming from the 4 and the 2. And then the next one is... 0 and 13. So there's a hex 0 and then the 13 would be this. Well, that's actually a 12. Let's make that a C. The next one beneath that is the 13. Let's see, uh, that's going to be the 13. So that's going to be the hex D. And finally, the last one, which is going to be a 7. So I think that's the 1 and the 7. And alternatively, since sometimes asking for these values as a 5-bit hex has proved to be confusing, I could certainly say, give me the answer as a decimal. So you would just say 1, 0, 2, this is 22 and then 12, 13, and 23.